Today's musical guest is an acclaimed performer, award-winning songwriter. He's the man behind Big Scary and the number one dads. Please welcome Tom Yancey. How are you, Tom? Very well, thank you. <laughs> Good. Uh, one of your Big Scary albums was titled Not Art, and I was curious about it. Uh, is that album not art? What did you mean? Um, well, I guess I, I was, when you were talking before about David ex Exhibition Scribbles, I guess it was a similar thing in that it's, it's kind of hoping to start a conversation about something before you even begin, or in my case, in our case, listening to the music. And I, I think I just, I mean, I wanted to talk about um, being an artist and the journey to being an artist and um, a lot of the, the writing for that song, there, there was those thoughts running in the, through the back of my mind when I first started making music. I didn't think I deserved to be called an artist. Um, I was just, felt that I could just play chords like so many other people could play chords. And then, yeah, it was just, I guess it's sort of, taking that aspect seriously and, and learning to be comfortable with that and what that means and and in the end embracing the artist. What are you going to play for us? Uh, this first song is called For Randy Robinson and Cassie. Right. Thanks, Tom.
you said the ironic thing with Big Scary is that the busier the band gets, the less time there's for purely creative stuff. Mm. The point of Number One Dads was just to be creative and keep that part of your mind as sharp as you could. I want to. How important is momentum for the, for the creative mind? Do you feel you've you'd, you'd have a harder time writing if you took longer breaks for a moment? Is it very important for you to make sure that for whatever reason you're just constantly laying things down? Yeah. Well, I I, I guess it's it's like any any skill you, it, it takes continual practice and and investment of your time and and without it I, f I feel like it, it does fall off and you lose that that sharpness and uh, writing a song is the same I, I, th I think it's just keeping those pathways in in your brain kind of rolling along you know and and, and you only do that through doing a lot of it do you do try it. to always work at a speed or do you have stuff that maybe you work on over a really long I, period I think of time so i think this the speed is important to a certain degree because it makes you make quicker decisions on things and, and quicker decisions are, are more likely to be gut decisions with which I think in artistic A lot of people, world. songwriters and even people fed up here say the quicker the song came to them is generally the better the song. Yeah, Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, Tom, we're going to take it out now. It's gone very quickly. What are you going to play for us? Um, this song is... I you don't have to tell us. This is an art gallery. We'll do what we want. <laughs> and it's a gig as well. Uh, how good does this guy sound in here? Everyone, Tom Jansek. Thanks so much. See you later. Ah. Uh.